Before we start, if you're having trouble hearing me, press escape, go to options, then audio, and we are paused while I give you a quick reminder of the HUD. Starting bottom left, press the 1 key twice to put the HUD in landing mode. You should see the landing, K, around 12 kilometers, and an inverted L. Press the spacebar to continue. The K indication lets you know you've captured the ILS beams, that's instrumented landing system. The upside down L indicates you are on the glide slope. Okay. Okay. Top left of the HUD is your required speed, and below that your actual speed. Try and nail 280 to 300 clicks on the approach and 270 for the very final approach. Fly towards the large circle, azimuth. Do this and you will find that the smaller circle glide slope will fall naturally into place. Okay, I'm going to try it I will okay. Let's get dirty. Gear down, press G. Flaps down, press F. Hook down, press left, alt and G. Yellow, green. Indication. Yellow, you're too shallow, but you're too steep. You want green. You'll get this almost automatically if you nail the approach speed at 270 clicks. As noted, the easiest thing to do is simply fly the cross towards the big circle and intercept the extended center line. At 6 kilometers range, press the space bar. AOA, annual attack, and speed. Look at the indicator on the left hand side of the HUD. Yellow, throttle back a notch, stick back a touch. Red, throttle up a notch, stick forward a touch. Once in the final zone at around 5 kilometers and 350 meters altitude, time for final checks. Six greens. Try and remain 20 meters above the glide slope, i.e. the bigger numbers 20 more than the smaller numbers in the top right hand corner of the HUD. This should put you nicely on the deck, which is 20 meters above sea level. Okay, you're looking for 270 knots in the green, 10 to 20 meters above the slope, rate of descent 3 meters per second. The ship should be rock steady, sitting in view in the bottom of the HUD window. At 2 kilometers, press the space bar. Okay, final stages. Look up, by which I mean less focus on the numbers and fly the aircraft. Keep the Oesta wires in view. Do not let the ship disappear below the HUD ever. If you get to 260 kilometers, throttle up a notch to 90%. You're looking to land on the white spot under the second wire. If it doesn't feel right at any stage, just throw it away, full power, go around again. Looks like you got it down in one piece.